Cheers. Ooh, cheers. Hello to another wine about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting no better. I know. You know, we've been doing this for months now and we yeah, still. One more time. Let me, just, let me just try one more time. Three, two, one. Tink. Cheers. There. Close enough. Today is special. I'm really excited about uh -huh. what we've started here. Mm -hmm. And it's our first episode where we are color analyzing you guys who are watching. And don't worry, people, if we didn't select you, because we can only pick one, we want to go, we want to do this so regularly that we get eventually to everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to have this done to you on the air, right? Yeah, just you can send in your photos to info at colormebeautiful.com. And um, all we ask is that we do, we get a photo of you hair out with a white t-shirt on in natural sunlight. So you can just stand by a window. And then you can also send us some extra photos. That would be awesome. Like you wear your favorite colors. colors. Yeah, your, your favorite, favorite lipstick. Mm -hmm. And just send in some info about you, maybe your age or some. But you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. We're just, we're trying to get, if you want to see yourself in a different hair color, let us know if you're thinking about dyeing it. Or if you think you want to transform to a different season, let us know and we can work on that for you. So just give us a little details on what you you are looking for in your life. Yeah, let us get to know you. All right. So, so glad everyone could join us today. On um, Let's start off with our first hope in her first look, which was just her plain white t-shirt. And we'll take a look and try to get her into the right season. Right. Mm-hmm. And we did a little work with the photo that Hope sent us. We dropped out her background so that we could see kind of the color purely mm -hmm. rather than her surrounded in her um, her background. So that's what we will do with everybody. When you send us a photo, you, you, we will drop out the background so that we can really see you. But um, we'd love to introduce you to Hope. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, I just want to go over some of Hope's characteristics. So her hair color. Her hair color is a bit interesting and we found this one a little bit tricky. It really did take us having to drape her in different colors to get her into the right season. Because when you look at her, this image does make her hair a bit darker and it almost looks, it's a soft. say brown. Yeah, Maybe it's brown very. It's in, a, with lots of different um, variations in that. Right, right. And so it, it's soft and it's. I, she has some um, lighter areas around her crown as well, we saw. And something that we always say is if you're an ish, if you're brown ish, if you're dark ish color, if you're light ish color, if you're grayish, that kind of leads us to a summer, which is something that I think really helped us navigate into what her correct season was. Well, the reason we said ish that you may not be able to see is that there are lots of different variations of her. Um, and what we saw was like an ash brown. Right. Mm -hmm. And inside that ash brown, she had lots of things going on. Mm -hmm. Let's just say right now, are those eyes spectacular? Right. Who also has these spectacular chili almost, you know, I, I want to say icy, but they're not cold, mm -hmm. but they are spectacular. Yes. And um, she mentioned, she said like when she wears different types of clothing, clothing, they change colors, you know, blue, greens, grays. So dichromatic eyes, which is awesome. And you do get to play them up and you have, you know, a variety of power colors that are going to really enhance your eyes if you do have dichromatic eye colors. So yes, gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. And, um, and and this is just in a white t-shirt. So I just want to say this is just a solid white t-shirt. This picture was taken. We didn't change anything except our very last um, slide is going to be her in makeup. And that's the only thing when we run through these slides that will have changed. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of us so we can see hope fully. Good. And <laughs> one thing that I was going to mention is one of the first things that we look at in terms of um, a person is do we see red or gold highlights? Now in this photo, I saw a tiny little fringe around her face of something that looked like it could be on the warm or blonde side. I believe that that was a, a, a remnant of the lighting. Um, so I chose not to say she is far, she's far more cool in terms of her, the hair color that we see here than she is warm. 
Um, we did notice that she has warm eyebrows, but they did not, it, that they weren't overwhelming enough that it made her overall appearance, considering her skin color, her eye color, and her hair color warm. She, she really is cool. So um, those were the challenges we faced. And the first thing you do um, when you're trying to rule out something is you look at her in warm drapes. As we already said, that she has no warm hair. I, I do see what you're talking about, that little fringe area, but that definitely is lighting. But overall, no red or gold highlights in the hair. So this drape symbolizes the autumn palette. It's kind of like a rusty red. And what this is going to do if you're not in autumn, like hope is not in autumn, this usually tends to make your skin a little bit more sallow and underneath your eyes a little bit more green. So if you can see that, it, she went a little bit yellow. Like if you look around her face, you see a bit yellow. Her skin tone looks a bit sallow and underneath her eyes look just a tad bit more green. And that's usually what the autumn drape does if you're a cool season, like a winter or summer. Also, um, if you really want to have your mind blown, pay attention to the whites of her eyes as we go through all these different drape colors. Um, because the color that you're wearing will also um, change the white. They will make your eyes, the whites of your eyes either look whiter mm -hmm. or more yellow tone. When we think of an autumn palette, an autumn palette is deep and soft and warm. So this color has one characteristic that is is really what Hope could be as a summer, which is soft, mm -hmm. but it's just too warm. But we're going to now move to the spring and look at what a Kelly green or a bright leafy green looks like on. And this palette is bright and it's vivid and very, has contrast in it. So let's get that up on screen. So now we're looking at an autumn on the left, a spring on the right, and both of these are warm seasons, which we know hope is not warm. And what's interesting about, um, the reason that a warm season here, the spring season is considered bright, is because typically springs have golden blonde hair, um, strawberry blonde hair, um, it, it, very warm attributes in their hair is kind of bright and bold or bright and sparkling. So they can pull off these colors, but we still haven't seen something that works for help. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna keep up the autumn and bring up a winter. So when on the left, I'm gonna keep this autumn drape on her. And on the right, I'm gonna bring up the winter color that we have set for her. The reason I wanted to do this is because they're both um, deeper in theory. So we have, but we have a warm and we have a cool right next to each other. Right, so winters typically have no red or gold highlights and they typically have dark hair dark with no red or gold highlights, mm -hmm. you call it. Now, one of the reasons that we, we really wanted to get this, obviously we want to get it right, but that we had a little bit of a challenge um, with Hope is that her hair, based on what we're seeing right here, one could say it might cross the line into deep, but her other characteristics don't really, the idea with a winter is that you have a bold contrast between your hair and your skin and your eyes. Well, I don't think, I think she's much softer than she is bolder. And one other thing I would draw your attention to is when we did these edits, we did not edit her face here whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So look at what happens when we actually got her into a cool season to her skin tone. Um, look at the whites of her eyes. Even though we do not believe she's a winter, look at the improvement uh, in terms of her the, the look of her face. And again, there is no change. It, they are identical. Um, we just put the color on the top. But do you see on the left how almost yellowish she looks? She looks sallow mm -hmm. um, compared to the clarity that you see in her cool season. So um, it, we, we uh, ultimately believe that neither of these are her season because they don't really show her off. Right. right. We know she'll be in a right season when you look at Hope's face and go, oh, she's beautiful rather than, wow, that's bright color or mm -hmm. what, you know, whatever. Yeah. I wanted to bring that up because Amy just made a really good comment. The rust and the green almost overpower her. And yes, 
that they do. Now, something that we really focus on in color analysis is you don't want the color to arrive in a room before you do. So that's, you want to be the star of the show and not whatever shirt you're wearing. So both of these colors are arriving before her. They're not doing absolutely everything they can to harmonize her entire look together. So even though the cool winter color does look good, it's mm -hmm. just arriving before she does. I don't see her. I see that pink arriving before her. So let's go ahead and let's check out what she looks like wearing her summer colors. Wow. Mm -hmm. And once again, let me say her face was not edited going from one side to the other. The face is exactly the same. We could switch these heads. But look at the difference in what happens to her skin tone when your eye, and, and this is a trick of, well, it's an optical illusion, but we know that it's true. When somebody is wearing a color, the eye, well, any with anything, the eye tends to blend everything together and kind of make it uh, sort of look like it's trying to belong. But on Hope, when this rust color tries to pull her face in and make her face look like it makes visual sense, it gives her a sallow look. But when she's wearing her season, which we all agree is summer, it makes her look clear and bright and beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. She's a summer. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I did think this one was a bit hard. We did have, when we first saw her, we definitely had to figure out, we knew she wasn't a warm season, but we also had trouble between a winter and a summer. So we wanted to give you something that was a bit challenging today. Obviously, we don't want to make it so easy on you guys, but I, I just could not get over how amazing this soft, teal just oh her eyes look gorgeous her skin tone just lights up there's no sallowness whatsoever as you can see in that autumn i mean she looks stunning it's unbelievable and i think we need to remember this lovely lady is wearing zero makeup mm -hmm. um and and i think that's a really big point because once she gets her colors on her she looks awesome even without makeup mm -hmm. um and but knowing us you guys know us pretty well i would like to think <laughs> Now, um, we couldn't let it go without um, doing a little digital makeover on Hope. We hope she likes it. <laughs> All <laughs> right. So, what I did there? Yes. Let me <laughs> grab that for everyone. I'm going to, there we go. So, we did a quick before and after with all summer makeup colors. And we did it versus her um, original image that she sent in with her, this awesome color. I, this color just blows me away on her. Her eyes are just. I, I mean, I feel like they're piercing through my soul right now. They're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I have some, some amazing eyes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so I want to make sure, let's let's get these comments. Uh, Trisha, wow. Linda's saying she's gorgeous. Amy, the blue in her eyes looks even bluer. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. so true. Um, Linda, her eyes pop. Lori makes her look long, younger, too. It, I, honestly, it it she just it blows me away and then stacy wow beautiful absolutely gorgeous stunning i love the makeup look that you did for her it looks so incredible the lipstick looks gorgeous her blush is beautiful I, this whole summer look is incredible for her well you know i didn't have to do a lot um it, mm -hmm. so it, so i don't want to say that i can take credit for this beauty that we see in front of us but all I had to do was bring out her lipstick, a little, bring her lips out a little with um, a, a summer colored lipstick. Um, and then I added a little color to her cheeks. And I also, I actually, and when I do these edits, I kind of envision in my mind what I would be doing with real makeup. So one of the things I would do is shape her brows a little bit and use a cooler brow pencil or brow powder just to kind of um, make sure that everything is of a piece. And then I put just a little um, of our gray eyeshadow in the corners of our eyes because one of the, the tricks that we know very well, we talk about it here all the time, is you know a little goes a long way when you put it in the outer corner of the eye. It really opens up the eye. And that's what you're seeing here. You know, I'm not, I didn't change the shape of anything. Um, I just added some color. 
Now, Hope, when you watch this, I wish that you could be here for how many comments and uh, just how amazing you look. So I just want to go over some more that we got in. Um, oh, wow. Great look for her from Amy. Joanne is saying superb. Cher, great look. I mean, everyone is just blown away by how good and how amazing your eyes look as well. So I want to make sure you're getting all of these wonderful comments. And then another thing that I wanted to take a look at is her in this white shirt versus her mm -hmm. in this color that um, the summer color that we chose for her. It, mm -hmm. it looks so good. I, just the before and after, I'm blown away by it. I, it's absolutely stunning. I cannot you know, get over it. Think for a minute about what actually is different. As you, you ladies are looking at this, and by now I think all of you can do color analysis really well. Um, and there are some difficult folks to analyze, hopefully yes. one of them. Um, but as you're looking at this, look at what a difference, the right lip color, the right blush, and the right eyeshadow and brow powder, what a difference that all makes in pulling the look together. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking beyond the, the, the summer palette colors. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to mention, because you couldn't stop there, we did pull some more colors from the summer palette just to take a look at. So I want to show you some other colors that we pulled just because we she just looks so good we couldn't stop and we were sending yeah. colors back and forth like oh, look how good she looks in this. Yes. <laughs> you want to say that this takes us back to the time where we hadn't done the makeup so you know we are looking at her raw face her just naked face but still look at how great these colors look on her mm -hmm. and uh just to mention anyone who is newer and not too familiar with the summer palette. The summer palette is a very soft palette. Um, remember, you can wear any shade. It just needs to be a little bit softer. And what's the the saying you always say? Well, I to like to say it's powdery. Powdery. Yeah. Um, some people say dusty. My house is dusty. I don't <laughs> want to say that. I want to say powdery. Now, while we have these images up, what we haven't done is done a before and after comparison. So I want to uh, grab this lighter teal shade and compare it to one of the other seasons just so we can take a look as well. What so, I cannot get over, Sarah, is the sallowness of right. the face when we put this color up against her. Mm -hmm. And and obviously, you know, in the right color, her face is not sallow. That is that is an optical illusion where the eye is picking up the wrong color and making the face, the whole face look that way. Yep. And I and it hurts me to say this, but I absolutely love a rust color. I think it's gorgeous, but for Hope, it is not her color. That and, is you know, interestingly enough, with those eyes, let's say, ladies, that we were going to dye Hope's hair, which I would never do. But let's say we were going to dye her hair so she's a warm season. Now, with those eyes... And the contrast going on in her face, I think she could she, she could pull off the spring. I think she's much more beautiful as a summer because that blue-gray eye just mm -hmm. it is right in a part of the whole summer palette. Um, but I don't think she could ever be an autumn. Yeah, it, it would be a tough challenge. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it wouldn't show off her eye color. You're so right about that. You would never get those piercing blue green eyes that you see right now in the autumn palette. So yes, I hope you look absolutely stunning in the summer palette. If you ever wanted to change, you absolutely can, but I would not recommend in autumn. Now one more, I'm going to grab that last color we did, which is going to be this plum. And then let's Pretty. compare it with that autumn that we always like to compare to as well. Yeah, it, it's skin just tone. It, it, mind blowing skin tone. She looks yellower. Mm -hmm. And I just got, I saw Lori post a really funny comment. And it's funny because, you know, I'm an autumn. Lori, I believe you're a winter. And she was just saying the summer palette is one I look most dead in, lol. Looks amazing on her. And it's so funny because we always compare how how awesome she looks in these colors but then when i would wear them i'm thinking to myself how bad i look in those colors well so, you say we but i see her in these colors and i i think i look fabulous in those colors too <laughs> right you look amazing in these colors as a summer so 
for everyone, you kind of automatically think, oh, you know, what would I look like in those colors? You know, how would they do for me? And I know instantly that it would not be a great look for me, but you would look like that teal, that dark, deep, softy teal color that she's wearing would look, also look fantastic on you. So I mean, she looks like a rock star. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love it. We hope you enjoyed this color analysis. Um, we're so yeah, excited. To do this. It was a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so it really if, gave if, us an opportunity to do it. Sorry, Sarah. It gave <laughs> us an opportunity to do a lot of things in one program um, mm -hmm. with the makeup. If you're interested in the makeup we actually used on Hope, send us an email. We'll let you know exactly what we used. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just going to say, please, 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 if you are at all interested, send us your photos in the email just write that you give us permission to use these photos and i mean that's pretty much it just send us a white t-shirt no makeup and then you can send us some other photos um with some lipstick would be awesome then we can adjust your lipstick and um, work out different colors and just check out different drapings on you and just we loved it so please send us more photos we love doing this and we can't wait to do more of them. And don't give up on us because we want, our goal would be to do everybody. We're a little backed up now because we got a really good response, but don't <laughs> give up. Keep watching. You will see yourself mm -hmm. eventually. All right. And I just, I saw this comment come through and I thought Hope should Great know. Great place um, to close. <laughs> Stacy, as she said, Hope, you are beautiful. And every, I think everyone agrees. You looked gorgeous. We thank you, you for doing this. Cheers, Hope. Yes. Thank you for, <laughs> for joining our show. Right. So cheers to Hope. And we'll see you guys all next week. Have a fantastic weekend.